Hi, I'm the Fluke 325 True RMS AC-DC clamp meter, and I'm the best in the world. Wait a minute. Who says? I'm the Klein CL2000 True RMS AC-DC clamp meter. And what am I, chopped liver? No, you're not chopped liver, but I'm better because I'm faster and more accurate. Well, do you have a flashlight? No, I don't have a flashlight. Do you have uh, places to put your probes on the back? Mm, no. But do you measure? Do you measure temperature? Uh, no, I don't measure temperature. Okay, calm down, you guys. I'm gonna do. Uh, a review of both of you. I'm going to do a comparison between the Fluke 325 and the Klein Tool CL2000. But you're going to like me best, right? No, not necessarily. Well, you're going to like me best then. No, not necessarily. I'm going to be fair and unbiased. But you're going to be biased a little bit towards me, right? No. Towards me? No. Well, yeah, but I got, I'm the best. Yeah, but, but you're more expensive too, aren't you? Well, yeah, I yeah, am, as a matter of fact. So what? Well, that means something. It's like $44 difference between us. Yeah, but I'm fluke, man. Well, so you guys just be quiet and let me do my review. Fluke is the number one name in meters. It, it really is. It's, they are the number one uh, manufacturer of testing equipment and they're relied upon uh, for industrial and all sorts of uses. However, Klein Tools is also a very excellent name. Uh, they make very high quality tools and both of these tools, I think you can consider them to be uh, uh, excellent quality and safe and accurate. The the Fluke's going to be a little little faster and a little more accurate. Uh, the Klein is it seems to me the Klein has a lot more features. It's made by electricians for electricians. And uh, let me start let me start with the with the Klein tools. So first of all, it has a better display than the fluke. Look at the, look at the size difference of the displays. It has a better backlight. See how nice and bright that backlight is? Look at this backlight. I mean, it's not, you really can't compare it. When you get up there and age a little bit and your eyes aren't quite as strong, the Klein is better for the display. You can see it more easily. Take my word for it. Okay. Also, the Fluke has a flashlight. It's a work light. You open it up, uh, you do your clamp work and so forth, it, it lights up your work. It's a, it's a nice feature. Not on the Fluke. The Klein has a magnet in the back. This, I have found this to be tremendously beneficial. Uh, there's all kinds of metal things you can, you can just clamp the meter to. Uh, like uh, sometimes metal boxes, you know, before the drywall's on, uh, service panels, even, even put on a refrigerator. And it's covered by felt uh, so that it won't uh, mar the surface. So it's got a, a nice magnet in the back. It's got a place for your probes back here that the fluke doesn't have. It snaps into place and it comes out. Sometimes when you're using your probes, you wind up needing three hands. You need one hand for the red probe, one hand for the black probe, and one hand for the meter. Well, Klein, being that it's designed by electricians, for electricians, gives you a little clamp right here for one of the probes. So you can, you can have your meter and one of the probes in one hand, and the other probe in the other hand. It's a tremendous idea. It's very functional, very useful. 
It's not on a fluke. The Klein CL2000 comes with alligator clips. And these are really good silicon alligator clips. And they're threaded on. You see, there's a, there's a thread here on the end for a very good positive connection. You just screw on your alligator clips. And alligator clips are extremely useful. There's times when you just can't properly do your test without alligator clips. You really need them. They're not just something nice to have. So there, I have my alligator clips on my Klein CL2000, and they come with it on the fluke. Now, I love both these tools, believe me. But I had to go out and buy these alligator clips for my fluke. Okay, these are just a snap in like that. You just push them in, and it's a good secure connection. I prefer the, for confidence sake, I prefer the, uh, the screw-on connections uh, of the Klein. Notice though that the, uh, the fluke alligator clips are protected all the way to the end. Now that's a good thing, but it's kind of a pain when you're using them. Because it, it's sort of sort of hard to, to grasp your it's a little harder to grasp your wires. Just from a practical standpoint, but from a safety standpoint it's better. Because the silicon uh, covers you can see it better on the red one. The silicon uh, covers up all the way to the tip. Here's something else uh, that the Klein have has that the um, fluke doesn't have, and that's the analog bar graph right down here. It gives you a graph of what's happening with voltage um, as you're using it. So you can see in real time what is happening, if there's a fluctuation of voltage or so forth. The analog uh, bar graph is a useful function. Again, uh, useful useful things on this on the Klein CL2000. Uh, so you got the analog bar graph, you got the uh, probe holder, you have the work light, you have the magnet on the back, you have the probe holders. Those are all functions that the, the uh, Fluke 325 doesn't have. Now let's move to the, th the Fluke 325. This is fast. This is really accurate. This is a very professional tool. Both the Fluke 325 and the Klein Tool CL2000 are rated to category three, 600 volts, and both are rated to 400 amps. So they are exactly the same in those regards. The Fluke is a little smaller and a little lighter uh, than the Klein. The Klein is a little bulkier and heavier. So that's an advantage for the fluke. The, the, size, the size and lightness is a, a definite advantage. On Amazon.com, the Klein Tool CL2000 has a 4.3 out of 5 star rating with 22 reviews. The uh, Fluke 25 has a 4.7 star rating with 28 reviews. The CL2000 is about $140 currently. The Fluke 325 is about $184 currently. So the Fluke 325 uh, currently is going to cost you about $44 more than the, C than the Klein CL2000. The Fluke 325 comes with the ability to measure temperature, with the which the Klein CL2000 does not. This is a K-type thermocouple. And it plugs in right down here where your test leads go. With the K-type thermocouple uh, plugged in, uh, it is reading uh, 75.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the room temperature. I have put the K-type thermocouple uh, of the uh, Fluke 325 in the freezer. And with the uh, setting te to temperature, we see that it is 6.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you want Celsius, just press the button. So uh, there's your Fahrenheit and Celsius readings uh, done with a fluke. That's something that the Klein does not do. However, notice uh, the Klein's uh, magnet allows it to sit comfortably on the, on the refrigerator here. And it's got a, a nice work light while it's at it. 
both meters test resistance, capacitance, frequency, and duty cycle. The Klein CL2000 has a non-contact voltage tester and that's what the NCV stands for, non-contact voltage. And what you do is you press this button right here and you go to a receptacle. You see the red light flashing, it's making a clicking sound and that means that voltage is present. Uh, so that's a nice feature on the Klein CL2000. The Fluke 325 does not have a non-contact voltage tester. Both meters come with very nice soft cases for storage. In conclusion, I feel that both of these meters are very fine meters. I own both of them. I paid uh, my own hard-earned money for uh, both of these meters and I don't regret buying either one of them. The Klein Tools is the one that I use in more of an everyday situation. It uh, goes in my uh, Klein Electrician's tool pouch and the uh, Fluke I use uh, when I really need accuracy and the Fluke has advantage of being smaller and lighter, uh, more compact. Uh, as I say, it'll give you the reading a little faster and it'll be a little more accurate. Uh, that is not to say that the Klein Tools isn't a very fine instrument. It is. Uh, but the, the Klein Tools has a lot of features that the Fluke does not have and they're very good, useful features. Okay, Mr. Fluke, do you think my report was unbiased? Well, it was pretty good, but I think that you should have mentioned that the fluke meters are used extensively by heating, ventilation, and air conditioning professionals. But all in all, I think it was fairly unbiased. Okay, uh, Mr. Klein, what do you think? You, th you think my report was unbiased? I think you did okay, but you really should have mentioned that I've been working with you now for two years. And we've been solving all kinds of electrical problems and doing troubleshooting and, and doing all kinds of good things. And you didn't mention that. You didn't mention how tremendously dependable I've been. But other than that, oh, there's one part I really like. I really like the part about all my different features. I think you did great showing the features. I think showing his features was boring. Well, that's his opinion. Anyway. All in all, I think it was pretty unbiased, too. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. So, these are the uh, Fluke 325 and the Klein CL2000 voltage meters, and I'll put links for them in my video description. Also, I'll put links uh, for the Fluke 325 little brothers, the 324 and the 323. The 323 happens to be the most popular uh, clamp voltage meter on Amazon.com. It's under $100. And I'll put a link uh, for the alligator clips um, for the fluke meters if you're interested in those. So I uh, thank you very much and I hope this video has been of help. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is the voice of Sparky Channel. Sparky was high on fumes of polyurethane from refinishing the hardwood floors. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm the Fluke. 325 True RMS AC DC clamp meter and I'm the best in the world. Wait a minute. Who says I'm the Klein CL2000 True RMS AC DC clamp meter. And what am I, chopped liver? No, you're not chopped liver, but I'm better cuz I'm faster and more accurate. Well, do you have a flashlight? No, I don't got a flashlight. Do you have uh, places to put your probes on the back? Mm, no. But do you measure? Do you measure temperature? 
Uh, no, I don't measure temperature. Okay, calm down, you guys. I'm going to do uh, a review of both of you. I'm going to do a comparison between the Fluke 325 and the Klein Tool CL2000. But you're going to like me best, right? No, not necessarily. Well, you're going to like me best then. No, not necessarily. I'm going to be fair and unbiased. We're going to be.